All right, collective, I want to try to get in on this reading really quick. I was just playing with my cards and Spirit said, record it. So I'm going to record it. Um, there is a sequence of events that are taking place in your spiritual um, energy as well as in your love energy, your heart chakra. All right, so the first card that came out was mirrors. It says, I can't, I hope y'all can see that. It says, I can't uh, validate our love in 3D until I understand our spiritual love in 5D. Okay, so someone's elevating, someone's having a transition. Okay, and I feel like this is someone that you are connected to on an 1111 energy, um, divine counterpart, soulmate, however it resonates, twin flame. Um, this is positive, so this is not someone who's toxic, but it is someone who has a history of being toxic. We all have, so no judgment, right? Um, Spirit is saying, give me time to explore this as uh, aspect so I can be strong spiritual partner for you. So this person definitely wants the contract that you guys connected on, okay? And I feel like um, you're coming together. I love this card because you can see the sun very close. I, I feel like when you guys connect, everything is going to make sense. It says there are... Um, Subconscious fears affecting our ability to uh, att attract love and abundance. The universe is helping us make the consciousness uh, conscious. I'm sorry. The universe is helping us make the conscious so we can easily attract what we want, including each other. I feel like this divine timing spirit is definitely working on this connection. One, two equals the number three. Okay. I can't make it up. So spirit is letting me know. Um, I feel this sexual energy between us. Yet it's beyond physical attraction. I told you it needs to be elevated to the expression of deep, unconditional love. So there is a step that you both will be taking on this journey, uh, individually in order to come together. And spirit is letting me know that, um, you know, this person can see you in the 5D. You can see them in the 5D. And they think you're beautiful. You know, you are each other's worlds, right? When I look into your eyes, I see the universe and it activates me, okay? You both are star seeds. You both come from other planets, okay? And you're connecting on this planet, all right? Um, <clears throat> at the bottom of the deck, it says the number seven, spiritual connection automatically, okay? Someone's on a journey. Someone's definitely coming in, all right? They're getting the enlightenment. Um, Spirit is saying, I need to move slowly with this, but I trust that I am moving even when it comes to that I'm not. So even when you felt like it would never happen, Spirit is saying it's happening for the both of you because it's a contract, right? It must be fulfilled, Okay, let me see if I could slide this over just a little bit so we can get the messages. Okay, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this connection. I just did an 1111 connection. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups. Okay, um, I feel like, you know, someone is... Four of Cups is all about, you know, regretting... A missed opportunity it can also be you know you know um hesitant about an opportunity coming in right um something is being presented to you when it comes to love okay spirit oh i'm sorry y'all i didn't even shuffle Thank you, spirit. Ancestors of our highest good and light, thank you for the messages. We pray and ask that you come through for me in the collective. Thank you for the divine protection as above, so below. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and find out more about the Four of Cups. Thank you, spirit. Please tell me more. Okay. Um, we have two cards here. We have the Hermit and we have Justice, two major arcanas, okay? Um, the Clarity is being balanced out something is definitely uh being fixed being balanced um that's hidden okay um the hermit is all about you know definitely trying to figure out some things um that are major in your life and you know 
Spirit is letting me know that folk, focusing on your spiritual elevation is bringing a balance between you and your divine counterpart. Tell me more about what's being balanced out. Okay, King of Pentacles. Okay, this is a provider. This is someone that sits back and enjoys the good life. Okay, someone that is stable, grounded, practical. Someone who really looks at what is a great investment. Spirit is saying a lot has been invested in getting you guys connected. Okay, um, this person is definitely someone that wants to invest okay and they're coming in you know to let you know what's up okay remember i told you with the four of cups is this page of cups okay thank you spirit all right and so somebody's definitely wanting to balance or come in and bring balance and they are someone that wants to really invest in you know a connection right they want to bring some kind of happiness, some good news, something that's going to uh, have the potential to grow. Okay. Um, Spirit, tell me more about the Page of Cups. Thank you. Look, it's coming in quick with the Chariot and the High Priestess. Somebody's using their intuition. So whatever this is, is coming in. Uh, to let itself be known. Somebody is definitely um, coming in quick. Um, I feel like a lot of messages are going to be coming in when this person shows up with this page of cups. Can y'all see that? Yeah. Okay. Um, and this chariot is uh, something that uh, is, is needing to be cleared or needing to come out in the open. Spirit, tell me about the hermit. A lot of cards are coming out in twos, okay? So we have the tower and we have another page, okay? This is someone that you've never been with, but you know. You know them spiritually. You know them energetically. Um, Spirit is saying, um, especially with this tower card in this deck, she's like, oh my God, is this for me? Like something is being learned right? Especially with the hermit card being here. This is like an epiphany, like, oh my God, what? <laughs> what is justice saying? Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the three of pentacles. Oh my God. We actually go together. Like we work, we fit, you know, we, we collab, we, 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 we can, we're both on the same page, on the same level, wanting to build each pinnacle at a time. Okay. King of Pentacles is that type of person, somebody that likes to build, invest, and grow, okay? Ace of Swords, okay? So Justice is bringing some truth, something that needs to be spoken about. The Ace of Swords is about, you know, an idea or opportunity to uh, get some type of plan together, okay? So you know, with this Justice card and the Ace of Swords, Justice is ruled by uh, Venus, Libra energy. And Spirit is letting me know that there's some type of love that is coming out, that is new, that is being given by the divine, okay? Um, and it's being balanced out to bring an end to something, okay? Um, and I feel like, you know, someone has been burdened by... A commitment burdened by some truth, some wisdom, some understanding. Okay, with the ace of swords being here and the justice being here with the hierophant, this is huge. This commitment, this uh dedication, this truth, this honesty. Um, ten of wands is you know heavy burden. Spirit is saying, lay your burdens down. Let me balance this out for you. Let me do the work. Wow. Okay. And um, Ace of Wands. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Spirit is saying, let me do the work. Look, Dusty. This is a duster. And, uh, you know, this hand is pretty big. So this is letting me know Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. Let me show you. Let me do the work. Let me give you the clarity. Let me help you. 
is what I'm hearing. Let me balance this out, okay? Um, this King of Pentacles is on board for this, okay? Tell me more about the uh, King of Pentacles, please and thank you. <clears throat> I'm not taking none of those. It's like, well, okay, fine, spirit. <laughs> okay, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and the Devil, okay? Um... <clears throat> Okay, you have the Page of Cups and the Three of Cups. So when I look at this, it's like two cups coming together to pour into an Ace of Cups, okay? Um, this King of Pentacles is definitely, you know, wanting to build legacy, build a legacy, okay? Why is the devil here? <laughs> Why are you here? What is tempted some kind of temptation something's tempted or somebody has an addiction somebody has you know obsession over something um i'm picking up someone is ocd someone is obsessed with making things perfect hmm let's talk about it <clears throat> uh four cups is here so yeah um you know, this person may be tempting to you and you may see them as um, someone who is too good to be true um, is what I'm picking up. Someone that you may reject because you're thinking that, you know, they're they're a fuck boy, fuck girl, like they juggle things. OK, and you don't want to be an option. So you may feel like this person may make you an option with the three of cups and the page of cups being here. Um, tell me more about this two of pentacles, please and thank you. All right, so we have the king of cups and we have the nine of cups. Um, no, this person is your wish fulfillment. All right. Um, king of cups, king of pentacles is out here. So trying to decide if this person is what you dreamt about what is this king of cups okay so king of cups nine of cups energy with the king of pentacles spirit why is there multiple kings in a reading four of uh five of wands so there's competition so you have somebody else that's going to be coming in that you're spiritually connected to this is different this is separate from the rest this is crazy. I didn't pick this energy up, but it's coming through. All right. Competition. Five of Wands. Okay. Um, definitely trying to what? Uh, Ten of Cups. Yeah. Competition on who's going to be a, who's going to have a commitment. You have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Um, a lot of work, a lot of dedication. Tell me more spirit about the Five of Wands. That's too much. Okay. It came back out too. You have the Eight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, okay? Um, withdrawing from an investment. Five of Pentacles is a loss. Eight of Cups is walking away from things that no longer are worthy or things that you've lost. Walking away from the past, walking away from things that you regret. Somebody's walking... So somebody is... Okay, so... Eight of Cups, regretting, conflicted about the past, hmm. Seven of Wands, protecting your energy, the Magician, you have the Magician, the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Two of Wands, um, <clears throat> manifesting you're having a hard time manifesting uh, what it is you want. So you've been taking your time. Somebody's been taking their time trying to manifest something um, because of their past, the conflict in their past. They've walked away from it and you have you, you lost out. You know, it's like feeling left alone, regretting the decisions that you made, regretting the choices or decisions that you made, regretting the um, things that you did in the past and you've walked away from that. Um, 
somebody i don't know who and that's why you're protective okay you're stuck stuck on something so that's you know this could be this person who is still trying to understand the connection on a 5d level um eight of cups came back out and the five of wands i want to choke somebody <laughs> Eight of Cups, Five of Wands, walking away from making a decision. Conflicted. Why? Who's conflicted and why? Oh my goodness, they keep coming back out. You have the Knight of Pentacles and the Magician, so they're supposed to be here. Uh, conflicted about manifesting what you want. Page of Wands, all right? Um... King, Knight of Cups, Page of Wands, Knight of Cups type of uh, definitely uh, sexual offers or sexual gestures uh, may come from either one of these uh, connections. Um, somebody wants to be flirted with. You want the attraction to be their Queen of Wands energy. Somebody's definitely manifesting sexual energy um six of pentacles okay very generous offer of sex um five of swords you're gonna have to cut out what you no longer want in your life what no longer serves you five of pentacles okay and maybe that's what you walked away from ten of swords yeah you were hurt um in this investment okay and you made a decision to, you know, never allow yourself to go down that path no more. But this is what keeps you up at night. Feeling like you didn't make the right decisions and now you're trying to have like this OCD and make everything fucking perfect with the King of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Okay. Um, Spirit is saying that, yes, you trust your intuition, but be practical and balanced in what it is you're manifesting, okay? Seven of Cups is a lot of options are coming your way, but you're going to have to cut out things that, yeah, I, I felt a lot of lovers, yeah. You're going to be attracting a lot of lovers with the Wheel of Fortune, all right? Page of Pentacles is about, you know, really trying to see what works and what doesn't work, all right? Um, you know... Who do I really want to invest with? Who do I really want to lay foundation with? Six of Wands, you know, yeah, recognizing, you know, what what you want to invest in. What do you want to do? How do you want to do it? And this can be very mind boggling because you're going back and forth between two two people, two of Swords. I've seen two, 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 two of Wands, two of Swords. All right. Um, Queen of Cups, nurturing. Yeah. Deciding on who you want to nurture, who you want to be with. Um, Spirit is saying you've been hoping and praying for, you know, some type of inner strength. All right. I do see the emperor here. King of Wands. Um, wow. Somebody is, you know, I don't know. I, I feel like, you know, this person is definitely, there's people, there's lovers coming into your life that, you're going to have to learn how to choose who's for you and who's not. Out of all these lovers that are coming in, um, you know, just be careful because I feel like some of you are going to have fun. You know, try things out, see what you like. But that might make another person feel like you're trying to steal a deal and it could cause an ending when they find out that, you know, they're not chosen, right? And this is going to be like a wake up call, okay? But something is definitely dying, okay? And it's coming to an end, all right? And I feel like it's um, you being single or you being, you know, in a non-committal relationship. You know, some of you are having fun and dating and, and having sex and connecting. And a lot of the people you're connecting with are 11-11 soulmates, but you can only choose one. Yeah. Um, one is only choosing you, like, you know? Yeah, page of swords, okay? Learning something. What are you learning? You're learning how to decide what it is you want. Okay? 
Spirit is saying with the Hermit comes back out with the Queen of Swords. Exactly. Getting that clarity. Okay. Really figuring out what it is you want and what it is you don't want. Look at how I'm about to cut the rose. Like, I'm cutting this nigga out of my life. I'm cutting, I'm cutting this chick out of my life, you know. Why? Because they're no good for me. Okay. I want something that I can actually enjoy. Right. I don't want just excitement. I want more than just, you know, sexual attraction. Okay. And that's what you've walked away from. Yeah, you're walking away from things that only that are immature. Okay, yeah, three of pentacles. You're wanting that stability. It's coming back out again. Okay, and spirit is saying, let me help you. <laughs> let me help you. I'm coming in quick to help. Okay, I know what you want. I know what you want. Okay, and spirit is saying, will of fortune is here. Yeah, as you walk away from what you don't want, you start to attract what you do want. But it might come in multiples, threes, okay? Three of wands, three of pentacles, yeah. Hmm, two of swords, they got a difficult decision. Eight of swords, feeling stuck. Spirit, tell me more. Stop. <clears throat> the cards is fighting me like they don't want me to tell all their secrets. Something's hidden. What's hidden? Because we saw the high priestess. Yeah, knight of cups. Mm -hmm. Let me help you with this. An offer is coming in. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups. Tell me more, Spirit, about the Knight of Cups. Please and thank you. What is this offer coming in? I'm not taking all of this. <laughs> they want to talk when they want to talk. No. Queen of Pentacles, Hierophant. Mm, a strong, nurturing, stable partner that has the potential to grow this commitment. You know, they, somebody who wants to come in with an abundance of love and affection. And they want to have some type of long-term connection with you. Okay. Anything else, Sarah? Thank you. Yeah. Why is it difficult? Why is it difficult? What's difficult? You don't see this coming in. You're not sure where you, where, where, what, 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 what? King of Pentacles came back out. We saw the queen and the king is here. <laughs> this is, a, there you go. Yeah, so it is the king of Pentacles. Someone who's more stable, practical, who matches your energy. Um... The, the King of Cups looks like they were someone that you desired, you know, but you got to be realistic. You got to be a little practical. Um, King of Cups that have you chasing dreams you can't commit to because you're all over the place. King of Pentacles is like, listen, let's really look at this. And I feel like, you know, this is this is this offer that's coming in that Divine is putting together. And you both don't see this. That's why the Two of Swords is here. You both don't see this. Tell me more about the Two of Swords. I have the Ace of Cups. Can't make it up. Okay. And we have the Eight of Swords. Yeah. Stuck. You don't even see this coming in. Stuck about, you know, two, Eight of Swords, Two of Swords is Ten of Swords. A lot of you are stuck on things that happened to you in the past when you trusted Divine. Oh, I know. Sometimes we wonder, like, what is the universe doing? helping you you just don't see it seven of uh two of wands queen of wands yeah the universe is helping you let's make shit happen is what i'm hearing sit back and write shit down and you will see this two of cups come to existence mm-hmm Okay, four of pentacles. Yeah, you're holding on tight to the seven of pentacles. Okay, you got the three of swords here, but it's a painful ending with the ten of swords. Okay, yeah. You've been hurt in the past and it's an ending to that. You took control, you took confidence. Okay. And spirit is saying, whatever test you went through, you pass. Okay? Keep it. Keeps coming back out. <laughs> it keeps coming back out, y'all. 112. And that's literally out here. 112. Like one, two, like one, you know, 
just one one two is what I'm hearing okay and it equals out to the number three thank you spirit tell me more oh my goodness recognition lesson yeah you both are learning something that you don't see coming okay i said that to y'all right here with the two of swords okay about the ace of cups you don't see this the both of you right here king and queen of pentacles two of swords ace of cups neither one of you see this okay and spirit is saying that you know something is being manifested as you guys sit back and make a plan on how to accomplish something um you you, you go well together that's what i'm hearing you both have the potential to manifest and that's what you're going to learn about how well you work together three of pentacles okay um, Spirit is saying, let love show you how to learn from each other. Didn't I just say that? This is the recognition. The divine will help you recognize signs and miracles. Y'all, I'm not making these messages up. Come through, Spirit. Okay, one more. Thank you, Spirit. Tell me more. Um, <laughs> everybody's stabbing me. One more, Spirit, please and thank you admire yeah spirit is saying this relationship is going to show you that it's time to think of everything that you admire didn't i say y'all gonna learn and see that y'all go well with each other really quickly divine is saying this is beautiful this is what i love okay every obstacle that y'all went through was worth it when y'all finally meet look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness okay <sighs> tell me more about these obstacles your feelings you have to talk you have to connect you have to share you have to be vulnerable take time out to explore the deep emotions you are experiencing when you're with your person okay recognition you're gonna learn and when you learn how a person feels how they want to be treated when you learn how you know to 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 uh balance out a connection with someone to you know take accountability and responsibility for your lane staying in your lane but still connecting right next to that person it's a beautiful it's a beautiful thing you know everything flows everything circles around each other okay yeah All right, and then Cupid comes back out. Love is in the air when Cupid's around. I, why is Cupid showing up in the fall season? <laughs> why is Cupid showing up in the fall season? Okay. Why are you here, Cupid? For clarity. Cupid said clarity. Time to think, to think about your situation to gain clarity. Isn't that the hermit right here? Right? And then we have the queen of swords. Right? Yeah, we got three queens out here. The queen of swords, the queen of wands, and the queen of pentacles. Okay, empress energy, strong empress energy out here. Okay, um, exactly, receptive. Empress energy, queen's energy is always receiving, right? We are the uh, yang, um, uh, the yin. And then the divine masculine is the one that is proactive, masculine. I said queen or empress energy, which is receptive, receive this, surrender, allow it, accept it, be confident, it's yours. Be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. That's what the card says. Okay. <laughs> That's what the card says. I love this reading. And that's why I wanted to get y'all in on this reading. Because Spirit was having me play with these cards. And, you know, hold on tight, Spirit is saying. Okay. It's coming in. Don't worry. All right, Spirit. Thank you so much for tuning in. We thank you. Guys, if this resonates, hit that like button. I appreciate you. Until next time. 
Deuces. Bye.